Hello RCB fans, what will be RCB's plan in the auction, uh, mini auction IPL 2024? What are the plans they are going to go with? And it's a huge auction because it's Andy Fleurs and Mo Bobert's first auction and people are will be very keen on how they perform at the auction table, right? Because uh, RCB has the history of not doing really well in the auction and that's a huge pressure to go with, especially in a mini auction and ahead of the uh, IPL 2024 and next year there will be a uh, mega auction, right? So. What are the clear strategies which player RCB will go with? We'll uh, discuss all that in today's video. And RCB, and as a RCB fan, I'm excited to do this video because I want RCB to win the IPL 2024. And as many of you guys, RCB fans, will ask question: Can RCB win the IPL for the first time? And will it be next year? And we have to wait and watch for that. And the first step is on 19th of December in Dubai, the mini auction, right? So let's go ahead and see what areas they can focus on what target they will go with i have planned and i have strategized a team and a playing 11 with which rcb should go or it's not like a should or it's like a mostly a fan opinion from my end that this side can win the title or this side can at least push for the title and this will be a well-balanced side because i am just looking ahead for this one season because next year it will be mega auction and i just want rcb to win ipl title next year and just prepare and plan for just one year not plan long time uh, long time into the future because next year anyways the the entire team is gonna shuffle and players will get released so that's my plan and based on that only i'm uh, discussing the players which i will buy so put in the comments guys get involved what players will you pick for rcb in the mini auction and how you gonna strategize or how you will pan out the playing 11 so come and get involved I will start with my uh, plan on how I will build. So, if you look at RCB, the uh, first of all, the first remaining for them is 23.25 crores, and the number of slots, overall slots available are six, and in that um, foreign uh, overseas slot is three, and overall other slots are three. So, total slots available for RCB is six. So, in uh, 23.25 crores, they have to fill six uh, six slots, and as an RCB fan. And as a cricketer and as I head into mini auction for RCB, I won't look to fill that entire 6 slot, max to max 3 or 4 because uh, minimum 2 overseas you have to buy. So based on that strategy, I will go and I will look to build a uh, small squad and just a squad for uh, the next year. So that's how, we'll, how I will plan it for RCB. So as I called out 23.25 crores first remaining, 6 overall slots, overseas 3 slots. So who are the players and what? Uh, auction strategy will RCB go with it's simple strategy their batting is set their batting lineup is all set they don't have to look for batters so the clear strategy for RCB in auction it's clear for everyone and the other teams also will know that they have to go for a overseas pacer or Indian pacer or an Indian spinner so that and especially in pacers they have to go for dead balling because they have released the likes of David Willey, Hazelwood, Hasranga uh, Wayne Parnell they have released so, so many uh, almost uh, half of their bowling unit they have released so who they will target so for me it's number one priority is Mitchell Stark I will go all out for him guys I am ready to pay 18 to 20 crores for Mitchell Stark I will tell you the reason why I know you guys will tell the purse is only 23.25 crores why are you spending 20 crores on Mitchell Stark because Mitchell Stark is an impact player he's a man why Mitchell Stark? Because he's a match winner, he's an impact player and he can win you games on his own with his bowling, with his batting and he is a World Cup winner, he is confident and he will be eyeing and he will be ready for that uh, T20 World Cup next year, right? So he will be fit and he will be ready to ball in T20 matches. That's the reason he's coming back to IPL. So he has played for RCB before. So what better way to get back uh, Mitchell Stark and I too will that uh, made an IPL title in 2024 right so that's the reason I'm going all out for uh, Mitchell Stark give 18 to 20 crores no no point or no point guessing why you want to pay such an amount for this player because he will win new games on his own and RCB need that and as I called out before I'm looking only for this season because next season it will be mega auction players will be released so uh, and there will be huge demand because it's mini auction players will be in, in, be in demand so for me RCB should go all out for Mitchell Stark. No, uh, doesn't matter if you give 18 to 20 crores. I know you will be asking where's the budget for other players, but I will tell you that later how I will form my playing line for RCB with the remaining budget. That's because I have a.
strategy because I have a set of playing 11 and players in mind. That's the reason I'm talking about middle stack for 20 crores, and that's how uh, Andy Flower and Mo Bob will be will be planning ahead of the IPL, right? So. Go, go all out for uh, Mitchell Stark and if you ask me, okay, if you don't get Mitchell Stark, who will go with? I'll go with Dilchal, Madhusanka, Sri Lankan Pacer, Young Pacer, again left arm, can swing the ball, can ball the slow one, again, he's an, uh, a non-commodity in the IPL, it will be his first IPL season and teams will look uh, uh, onto him in the auction table. So if I don't get Mitchell Stark, I will go all in for Dilchal, Madhusanka, he'll be a really good fit and he'll be again an X-Factor who can win your game. So, Plan A, Mitchell Stark, go all out for him or if not, I will go for Dilshan Madhusanka, 14 to 15 crores, get him. And the important uh, aspect, which is the next thing, uh, Indian spinner, right? Yes, you will ask me, there is Himanshu Sharma, there is Karan Sharma, why again go for Indian spinner? Because I want a little bit more quality and I want a player in base price because I have spent 20 crores in Mitchell Stark and the player that I will go for is Shreyas Gopal, yes guys. Shreyas Gopal, the local lad, plays for Karnataka, has huge experience playing at Chinnaswamy. He has taken a hat-trick against RCB and he's a such underrated player. He can bat down the order. He's a genuine leg, leg spinner and he is a very handy bowler. He doesn't get hit that much in a T20 game. If you look at his economy, it will be 8, 7.58. It doesn't go over 8. So he is such a quality bowler. One season, guys, go for him. Take him at base price. Simple deal to do. He's a local lad. Get him into 11 straight away. For me, for me Shreyas Gopal and Mayank Dagar will be the two uh, spinners playing for RCB uh, from the first match if they go for Shreyas Gopal. So that's it. So now you would have understood why I went for uh, Mitchell Stark for 20 crores because this is the only two players which I am going to buy with interest because the other players will be back up and just to fill the slots. So you have still uh, around one or two crores, right? So this will be only two main buys for me. So I will discuss the playing 11 with this two players I brought, right? So as I called out before, batting lineup is totally set. That is Virat, Faf, Rajat Patidar, Cameron Green, Glenn Maxwell, Dinesh Karthik, Mitchell Stark, Mohamed Siraj, Mayank Dagar, Shreyas Gopal. And yes, the number one, number 11 player will be an interesting uh, pace bowler again. It will be Rajan Kumar who has been written by RCB. I know you will be asking question, why, why, why not Vaishik Vijay Kumar, why not uh, Akash Deep? Guys, again, Rajan Kumar is a left arm pacer. He can bowl with pace. Left arm tall will give you variety. There is a reason why RCB have retained him because they have released the likes of Vinash Singh who bowls at 150, right? So there is a reason. They have seen something in Rajan Kumar, and I will pick Rajan Kumar straight away. Unknown commodity can be an X factor. Two left arm pacer in the left uh, in the side. Rajan uh, Rajan Kumar, Mitchell Stark, Mohammad Siraj, Cameron Green can bowl. Mayank Dagar, Shreyas Gopal. So it looks so much settled, look balanced with the camera, the likes of Cameron, he can bowl in. So uh, that's the 11 I am going with guys, the surprise edition are Shreyas Gopal and Rajan Kumar. So I will go with this 11, uh, what's your thoughts on the 11 guys, do you think RCB can win uh, IPL title with this 11? It's a, it's a really quality side, the well balanced side, I am going with this strategy guys and if you look at the backup players we have, the likes of Anuj Rawat, Lomroor, Karan Sharma, Himanshu Sharma. Uh, Akash Deep Singh, Vashak Vijay Kumar, Will Jacks, Reese Topley is there. So we have covered all bases and this is the two players I am looking at in the auction that is in an Indian spinner and a death bowling specialist that is Mitchell Stark. Put in the comments guys which player you will go with, what strategy are you going with, will you still eye a batter in the auction for me, I am not looking for any batters in the auction and the simple reason going all out for uh, Mitchell Stark for 20 crore is I want to win the IPL title next year. I'm not looking ahead into the future. Mega auction in the next year, build a fresh squad again, but I want to win IPL title next year. That's the reason I'm going all out for Mitchell Stark. He will win your matches. Chess Gopal, underrated player, give, will give you four overs, will hit you 10 to 20 crucial runs down the order. Mayank Tagar can bat, Stark can bat, you, you can bat down the order till uh, 9, 10. So that's an added advantage. Solid uh, because Shreyas Gopal is a local lad. Mitchell Stark has already played for RCB, so that bonding, that experience comes in. And there is Cameron Green, there is Maxi, so that camaraderie with Mitchell Stark. And the likes of Manoj Bandage, Vashak Vijakumar, Shreyas Gopal, so that's at the local talent as well. So, all around, that's my plan for RCB. That's how I, I will go into the mini auction. So, put in the comments how you will plan for RCB, how, if, how you will go ahead if you are uh, sitting in the auction table for RCB. 
आई होप एंड आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर मो बोबत एंड एंडी फ्लावर दैट्स देयर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ क्रिटिसिजम बिकॉज आर सी बी हैज नेवर डन वेन इन ऑप्शन दैट्स देयर हिस्ट्री बट आई एम लुकिंग फॉर्वर्ड टू इट एज एन एस यू फैन आई एम एक्साइटेड टू सी हाउ मो बोबत एंड एंड एंडी फ्लावर गोज इन टू द ऑप्शन टेबल राइट ठीक है गाइस यू ऑन द अदर साइड